You're watching Season Living with Rosemary. Today we'll be baking a lemon meringue pie. I have lots of lemons here and I'm going to show you how to do an old-fashioned style lemon meringue pie. They're lovely. They're nice for this time of year, nice and bright for the springtime. They're nice and tart. It's just a really lovely dessert. We'll start with two cups of all-purpose organic flour. I'll add one teaspoon of sea salt. Mix with a whisk. Then I'm going to add one stick of butter that's been frozen so that I can grate it on a grater. Now I'll add the butter to the flour salt mixture. And I'm going to be using a vintage pastry cutter. I add ice to my water to make sure it's really cold. And we're going to just add a tablespoon or two at a time and mix with a fork. At this point, I'm going to grab some in my hand and squeeze to see if there's enough moisture, and there's not. We need to add some more water and continue to mix slightly. Now I'm going to test it again, and this time it's good. Try not to overwork your dough. I am guilty of that myself. If you overwork the dough, it can make a very tough pie crust. Now we will be cutting this dough in half. We'll save the other for another pie. We only need a one crust for this pie. Now I'm going to come out about two to two and a half inches from the edge of the pie pan so that I have enough dough to go up the sides of the pan. Now what I'm doing here is the overhang I'm turning underneath so that I have a thicker edge for the pie crust. Now if you have an excessive amount, you can trim some of that off, lay it aside, in case you need to patch a piece or fill in a piece that's thin on the crust as you go. Here you can see I'm going to use that extra piece uh, in an area where it was a little thin. And this will help build up the edge of your crust. I'm just going to tuck it under and just blend it in. To make the edge, I just pinch slightly as I push down 
on an angle with my thumb and it gives a fluted edge to the pie crust. I'll be using parchment paper because we're going to need to keep the pie shell from puffing up in the oven as we pre-bake it. Crinkle up the parchment paper. This makes it easier as you unfold it to lay it in the pie. It'll help fill in the spaces and the gaps better. I'll be using these ceramic pie weights. It helps hold the paper down, which also helps hold the crust in place. Bake at 350 for about 20 minutes, then carefully remove the paper with the beads and keep baking for until it gets golden brown. Next, we'll get our lemons prepped by getting them washed. Next, we're going to need the zest of a few of the lemons. Juice enough lemons to get one half cup of juice. Now we're going to separate three eggs. Set the whites aside to be used in the meringue topping. I've added one and a half cups of water to the saucepan and one cup of sugar. I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons lemon zest, one teaspoon of sea salt. I'm adding three tablespoons of cornstarch and three tablespoons of all-purpose flour and I'm mixing with a whisk. Now we'll head over to the stove. Set your heat at medium and keep stirring. Notice it starts to get more clear. And now it's starting to also thicken up. Now we've brought it up to what we call a low boil. Now I slid the pan off the heat and I'm going to do a tempering. It's where you add the hot liquid just a little bit at a time to the egg yolks to keep them from curdling as we add them back to the pan. Now we're adding them back to the pan and the pan is put back at about a medium heat again. Keep whisking. Now it's time to add our one half cup of lemon juice. Keep whisking until you bring it back up to a low boil. Now we'll add two tablespoons of butter and continue to stir it until all the butter is melted. Now pour it into your pre-baked pie shell. going to be using six egg whites. I 
can put the other three egg yolks into the refrigerator and use them for making scrambled eggs later. I'm adding four tablespoons of sugar very slowly until we are finished mixing. The meringue is now stiff enough to use. I like to pile the meringue nice and high. It gives a very nice look to your pie as it's finished. Make sure you bring the meringue all the way to the edge of the pie crust, picking sort of a seal. This will keep the meringue from shrinking as we put it in the oven. Preheat your oven to 350 and bake for 12 to 15 minutes until it's just lightly golden brown on top. Now I'm packing up the pie to take to our daughter's house for a nice, lovely lunch. Today's Bible verse is Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. If you like this video, please subscribe and click the bell for further notification.